Hey, Prefane. I'm having one of those days. I'm trying to keep myself emotionally in check. Um, I've got a few projects that I can get done today. I have some light toner shirts that I need to get wrapped up. Um, a couple of different orders. And that's about it. I was looking at monday.com. The print jobs in house. I did the thank you cards yesterday, business cards yesterday. That's the only print jobs in house. I have an embroidery job that has been in there for forever. That's a hat that the customer likely doesn't want at this point. I was gonna, I was doing it as a favor just for free. Um, got a couple of promo jobs. It's already in production. It's already been shipped to us. So it's a matter of just getting it to the customer. We do have one active screen print job um, and then the white toner stuff. That's really about it. Oh, the large format section. All of that's kind of pending. I, I, I guess I do have a banner that I need to print for my neighbor, um, but that's it. So I have a banner and some white toner stuff to do today. And The stress of the flood and the kitchen being a mess and the house being a mess is incomplete junction with the lack of work it's really getting to me today so I don't know if there will be a vlog for a little bit after this one I'm gonna try to power through this one and hopefully it's entertaining and you guys learn something but when I first started the vlog it, it wasn't about being entertaining or showing production every day it was about documenting the real life of a printer and this is my real life I work from home sometimes it sucks sometimes it's awesome uh, I was searching lo local classifieds yesterday just because it's one of my I guess hobbies and there's a print shop that's two cities from me that's shutting down because of COVID-19 and I'm lucky and happy that that's not the case for me um, but I'm still stressed I'm still worried I'm still an emotional wreck so, we'll power through it. We'll make it happen. But this is my real life print job. Some are better, some are worse. This is mine. So it turns out I've got another banner order pending. Um, I just finished up the artwork and sent it over to them. So I'm going to hold off a little bit before I print my neighbor's banner. So I can hopefully do their three banners total. So hopefully I can do them all at once. Um, I do barely, I've got some, this is some Grimco banner media that I don't really like. It's fine, I just don't like it. I've got plenty of that that I can use. Um, this is what I was using before. This is the, the Ultraflex. I don't think I have enough of this one to do all of them. Um, but regardless, I'll have enough to do all of them combined if necessary. But I'm going to go check out that print shop that's going out of business to see what they have for sale. And I'm going to see if I should spend some money that I don't have. So let's head to the print shop. Someone else's print shop. So just finished looking at what this print shop has and it's nothing spectacular. Um, they have four Konica presses, two of them are for sale, the other two they're taking to their home. They're gonna just try running their business out of their home instead of a storefront. It's interesting because they're in the city hall building, which is surprising to me. Um, it's like the city hall, the post office, and this business all in one building. So I would think that she would get quite a bit of quite a bit of business um, but she said she doesn't like having the storefront and that it's not worth it to her um, she did have a laminator which I was potentially interested in but she already sold that she's got the same like um, bomb 714 folder that I have she's got 
some Canon photo printers, um, a binding system, a few other things, but again, nothing that's super worth it. She did have some paper, but she, she wants too much for it to be worth buying it used. Um, if she would have given it to me for like five bucks a, a case, then maybe, but it's not worth it for, she wants to sell it for, I think like 30, $35 a case when retails 40 or something like that for the ones that she had. So, oh well, we'll run back to the print shop. We've got approval for the banner, so we'll get those printed. Perfect. It's 11 o'clock. You saw the time lapse of the printing of the banners. I cut them and got them delivered. I'm feeling a little bit more upbeat than I was this morning. Partially because if you look at my wall, I have some built in speakers. Over there. And they've always been connected to a mono price whole home audio amp but I don't have a keypad in here and over the last little bit I set up an airport express and I bought a little adapter I don't know what I did with the boxes but hooked up an adapter so that I can control it from my phone so today halfway through the day I was able to turn on some nice sounding music and it's been great. I've been listening to the Pandora Station Easy Listening. Let me know in the comments what you like to listen to to help you calm down. Hey, I know this isn't the comments, but I have an advantage that way, I guess. Um, I like listening to Alt J. Uh, they're a huge, they're one of my favorite. They're my favorite band. Um, they're just like super chill. Rex Orange County's really good to chill to. Um, I have like a whole playlist on Spotify called The Unskippable if anyone's interested, specifically Darren. But I guess if any of you are interested, leave it in the comments below. I can link it. Um, but it's just all my favorite songs that I've never skipped every time I listen to them. And I was like, yeah, let's just put them together. So that's a really good chill playlist. So I would personally, I recommend it. <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if, if you're interested, let me know and I'll link it. Other than that, um, I've got a 400 piece, four and a quarter by five and a half job to print and some business cards. Because it is 11, I might save it to do first thing tomorrow. I'll probably get everything prepped today. Um, business cards are business cards. They're simple. Um, the four and a quarter by five and a half I do need to make a template for the Duplo, but that'll only take a few minutes. Um, so yeah, that's how things are looking right now. Like, I'm gonna continue to go through my email, get those things prepped, and then we'll follow up one more time. Airport fam, it's time to call it a night. It's one o'clock. All the jobs are queued and fiery. So command workstation, three jobs, two business card orders, one flyer. Um, all of them will be cut on the Duplo. So make sure you stay tuned tomorrow. I'm also probably going to do just kind of an overview of the Duplo since I got a request for it and there's not much else going on. So it'll be a good way to have some good content for you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I put live or more real time updates there. So I'm just, I think it's TT make something on Instagram. Um, yeah, so 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thanks, Cam, for editing the videos. We really appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. I think you are, because I keep texting you. That's true. We do text a lot. Um, the latest text conversation we had was he sent me a bunch of numbers. And I was like, oh, this is a tracking number. The only reason I know is because I clicked on it because it had it was like underlined on my phone. And I clicked on it and it was like, track your package. And I was like, oh, heck, what'd you get me? And he's like, oh, haha, this is a surprise. It's really cool. They were Majora's Mask socks. And I was like, Darren, how, how, how did, how did you know I liked Majora's Mask? I just had you print a banner and I have this tattoo, but how did you know? Figured it out somehow, man's a genius. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. You can buy stickers, business cards, use the Amazon affiliate links, join us on Patreon, all that fun stuff. But as always, we just appreciate you watching. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button thumbs up button if you feel we deserved it and make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along for tomorrow see ya for fam i didn't meet my goal probably just assume that for a while